Okay, being on black folks, and basically DA14 is not what you're going to see in this video. And if we end up being wrong on that, then we have a, we have a shot of DA14 incoming, and then we'll know what we're looking for. But pretty much what it looks like we, we can see is our object right here. Now remember, this is the closest thing known to every human being on the face of the earth to be the closest thing in their lifetimes, their ancestors 3,000 years ago, and so forth and so on. And we are going to show you a key to, uh, let me go to set you right now. And we're going to show you that that's the darkness that certain cultures told in history would happen. Okay, And you know, I've showed you the meatball of recent, and we're going to study this here pretty good because you're going to get a good shot of knowing exactly like I've showed you and that NASA has taught me because basically I go by, you know, everything scientific that I can find and everything for information. And then you can see that the shadow of Venus is the same size as that what it is. Okay. Now, the interesting thing is here we have the comet moving away. And I'll probably have to slow it down, but you can probably see it. Let me point to it real fast. And there's the comet moving away. Okay. So what it did is it came in, and it, what it is is it's... G, uh, now, remember, we got the meatball down here. It's been known about for a long time. There's been people that have been hushed-hushed and everything like that. Now, the one thing is is you need to come to Bino for the truth because, basically, I love, I love these guys' show here. I'm going to go over to... They charge you money, and then they have a live shot of the sun today, and they, they were showing you that the, <laughs> the end of the earth is not coming. Now, let's show you what people that, if they actually wanted to be probably cold as a cucumber... And you understand what I mean by that. The idea that you wouldn't be on, you'd be locked up somewhere if you were trying to pull off that the end of the world was coming and you're showing people this shot from out in space, okay? So this is footage from Sechi from your government. Yes, every branch of the U.S. military. Happy holidays and happy new year, okay? Uh, Bino loves you. I'm a U.S. taxpaying mofo just like all of us. And uh, anyhow, in the future... I'm going to have my site and keep an eye on all this stuff because it'll always change, just like how NASA always changes the name of objects and so forth and so on. Like, they don't really actually tell you. They don't go. But Bino tells you that's one of the meatballs that we have out in space. And it's huge, you see. And there's a huge amount of distance between the sun and Venus there. And then it's got its alley that it goes through. Now, every once in a while, it's going to hit a star and it's going to, you know exploded or whatever. Now you see what the electrical activity does to Venus's atmosphere and Venus rotates counterclockwise, okay? Or clockwise, excuse me. Clockwise Venus. We are counterclockwise. We rotate to the east towards the sunlight of the sun. Now as you can see, we might even here on Earth with this electrical activity that's going on with the meatball being in the position that it is right now. As you see, it's moving away from Earth because Earth is up over here, okay? Earth is to the to basically the shot that we're looking at on Mercury, we're to the right up over here. Now, we have gotten some of these blinks. That's what the, when we were showing you the Hawaii telescope footage, when I showed you that the idea of what happened, the whole sky went black. That's that black light off of the sun when the meatball does that. And NASA doesn't tell you about it because they don't get uh, approval from the higher-ups to be able to tell you that, okay? Now, what the most interesting thing, even though this is the dramatic and we finally know because we finally get some footage from NASA when it's doing this. Now, this isn't the first time it's ever done this, okay? We've seen the meatball around before. NASA just hasn't, you know, we haven't been able to see it in a movie to be able to see and put it all together to know that this is what happens because there's been people that have been studying this meatball, which I composite real fast, and you'll understand that that's the meatball. And you should have seen the last couple of videos. If not, look at the couple before this. Now, as you see, that's the meatball. And then it moves hella fast. you got to understand that. This damn thing hauls ass, as you can see. In a short amount of time, it's big and it's fast. Big and fast. So basically, this is part of our electrical motor out there, ladies and gentlemen. And NASA knows it and all the electrical kings know it. Okay, Tesla was a genius. Okay? He figured out stuff, but he didn't know to know that this thing was out there. Now, maybe he did somewhere through uh, astronomers or something like that. It sure seems to be a fact that the physicist that looked into a telescope and looked at stars and then contrived the electrical motors and picked up on the electrical theory, Benjamin Franklin wasn't the one that invented or found electricity, okay? He really wasn't, okay? I'm not going to say what countries and stuff like that because you need to stay away from stuff like that. But basically, electricity, he worked with it. Okay, Benjamin Franklin, 
was ingenious and he invented and figured some stuff out, he did get shocked through his uh, whatever metal somewhat or electrical conduct conductivity or isolated because see he didn't get shocked with the key on his kite and whether he was the one that did the experiment or not it doesn't really matter he's seen electricity try to go to ground through the shortest it's a theory of electrical it's always going to take the shortest path to ground okay lightning uh, basically static uh, electricity that like Tesla figured out anything like that and yes you can get free electricity from the flipping air uh, there's probably going to be laws in place. There's really not laws yet for it because the electrical powers to be, and you can just look at any electrical company, they're going to probably somewhat tell me, you, do you have the legal right? Yes, you have the legal right in your property to take in the electrical that you can get. Okay, you already do it with solar panels, right? You see, that's static electricity too, you see? You get energy. It's not just all of a sudden, it's not just light, okay? But yes, you can make a dynamo with your own electricity, you see? But they don't want you playing with electricity. Don't play with electricity if you're not a certified electrician. And you really don't have to be certified. You just have to be... Uh, you just need to know the regulations. I'm not going to do it too much. So anyhow, uh, regulations, regulations. So anyway, everybody abide by your regulations. And there you go. And this is the meatball. And uh, we got Venus there doing that. And then we're going to zoom in on our comet that's moving away. Because that's our comet moving away. And more than damn ass likely... The odds being it, it's V 2012, C 2012 V4. And see, this is going to go off away out behind Earth. And that's where it's at right now. Hauling ass away from Venus and Mercury right there. You can see it currently today. And on the 18th, we can see it from the Sechi footage because that's the, it right there heading away. And you also see the that the idea that Venus puts off the exact same shadow. Remember, it rotates clockwise, and you can see how much it does during the day. And then we can watch this footage, and we'll, we're gonna now what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in on our. And remember, after the January 1st, I'm hoping to basically get the uh, don't burn books and libraries, so that history and truth and actual facts like this do not get burnt and thrown away. That uh, it'll be a small amount, and after the first, I'll have a a site that we can basically I'll end up charging you to come to it just and it's basically it's going to be to the charity you see LLP LLC and then the idea that it's just going to be a small amount way less than what other and I'll point to it and without saying the name and then basically you know that basically I'm going to charge less than they would charge we will be charging because I'll end up having to have some employees to get all the work done more than likely and then we'll just keep an eye on all this stuff that we scientifically know about space and we'll keep an eye we'll track the meatball Okay. Now I got to move him back. Okay. So now I got to put it forward because basically it doesn't move. Well, eventually it does. That's what we got to figure out. But see, it should be that the orbit of it goes this way, and you see how fast it moves. So, within a certain amount of days, and being as large as it is, is and then you just got to figure out the circumference when we do our proportional integral derivatives, and when we'll be able to figure out. And we pretty much got a size because we got it coming between Venus and the Sun. And then we can distribute and do proportional integral derivatives and figure out this distance and how fast it's traveling and everything like that. So we've got a huge rocket ship out in space, and it's the meatball, meatballs. Uh, I just don't understand why. Uh, I, I honestly, I want to call it cowboy because it's the biggest thing I know. So I like beef. Okay, I don't mind eating a little bit of yard bird every once in a while, but I really like beef. So I think I'm going to call it cowboy. The big cowboy in the sky, the space cowboy. So, because there's probably way more than one meatball, and then we got to go down to a little spaghetti balls because basically we got to go check out this comet here. So we're going to pump in on on the screen and go watch our comet moving away as the as the video plays. And we'll go in at uh, six six. We'll go seven seven seven. I just pump in a three-digit number. I'll go 666, sometimes 555. I just punch it in real fast to try to find what I'm what I'm looking for, 777 or whatever, you know. So every little size works for every little software thing. And now what we're doing is we're looking for that comet going away. And there it is. It's way below. And as you can see, there it is below. That's the comet heading out. So it was damn good size, and as you can see, it still looks pretty good size, and it hauls ass. You got to remember, we have a lapse of like the 14th through, and on the four, on the 14th footage, I couldn't find it. But remember, we've seen it coming over top of Venus and Mercury, so it's already done its turn. 
uh, by the sun and everything like that. So we don't. We're going to have to look at the old footage to see when it turned its tail around and so forth and so on. So basically, I'm going to just uh, the speed's pretty good. I'm going to just go ahead and go up, and we'll go 999. Like I say, I just put in numbers that so be get in there fast. So that's our comet moving away right there in the lower. What I'm going to do is go down and slow it down a little bit. So we'll pump out real fast, 125, and this is our footage, and that's what we're zoomed in on. And we're going to slow it down just a little bit. And as you can see, that big meatball, it hauls ass. Okay, So now we've got to slow it down pretty good. And remember, we could still end up with somehow, uh, when we get the meatball back around, whenever that's why we're going to be important to track it so that we know the next time. Now, remember, DA-14, this is the closest thing we know that's ever going to be coming by man's humanity known, okay? And it orbits, okay? And remember, I told you a long time ago that in the close approach data, someone rich and powerful had some devious ideas at one time because basically at one time, someone hit all the information from 20, 1926 to 1996, okay? So someone knew that this was going to come back around and probably even had some sinister ideas of the idea that to try to perplex everybody that the idea of the end of the world's coming. Everything is an act. I cannot stand, I've never been much, I, even though I started a movie theater when I was eight, I'm a very young age, okay? Uh, and everything's an act. You know, you watch movies, you figure out psyops and all kinds of stuff, the way people try to brainwash people. Numbers are just numbers. I mean, 666, for Christ's sakes. You know, there's people that if I would put 66 in here, they go, oh, you see, he's the devil. Somebody's the devil, or this is that. It's all but everything buddy plays something off Shakespeare everything's the spear in the United States military every branch of the military is the spear but the thing is every person in every branch of the US military is trained to kill they know either kill them first or they're gonna kill us that's how the US military operates and if you don't believe that uh, go talk to somebody that's been a marine enlistment okay or any branch the US and that's every branch the army they had taught the same way in boot camp. You are going to kill. If you don't kill the enemy, the enemy will kill you. Now, we people have we have some kind of enemy, domestic and foreign, that's trying to take our guns away in this country. Okay, that's that's that simple. Okay, that's that actual factual. Uh, pretty much seems to be a big play skit that someone's trying to pull off and whatever. And uh, everybody knows the actors. And so now we're going to get up here and look at this comet. I'm going to zoom in on it. Now, just remember, when Vino talks, basically, you're somebody special because the idea that not just anybody can get on the Internet and get this information because there's certain powers to be that are very powerful. And just remember, if you're in America, you're just visiting, okay? Don't forget to pay the rent. We do deport people, and we always have our eyes on spies all the time. So there's our comet moving away. As you can see, it looks like maybe one more than one element, or is that two stars twinkling? I would say it's just one element. Let's get in. we got to get on that. We're going to have to go to the zoom, our tool. Now remember, as soon as I use the pointer, I, I mean the, the zoom, I'm going to lose my point ability, okay? So it almost looks like I need to slow this down a little bit more. Okay, so remember, folks, numbers are just numbers. Don't ever let anybody psyops you out with numbers, 888-666. It's just power and control. It's mind control. It's psychological. Now, remember, that's the blackness that when you see the telescope over in, and that's interesting, there is something that even in the darkness of space that ends up, well, we're going to be looking at the comet, but we're going to see, is it the comet that basically lights up in there? And we got to watch that now as it goes back. I want it to go back to the black flash. But when you see the footage at the telescope, the Canadian and French one over there, now if someone could start playing games. But actuality, when we've seen that go to black like that, with it, like you see in this footage, and there is the comet. But there is, we're going to have to study it in my next video. I'll pick up that. See that there? There's just something that actually flashes in the dark of space when, uh, then when the meatball does that electrical activity there. So it's probably electrical activity to a star that's deep and way the hell back out there, okay? You got that? And I can't point it. When I get, when, when I start zooming, so we're going to zoom in on the comet now. So we'll have more of this in another video. It's too much to be able to just to be in one. So that's the comet moving away, and as you can see, the stars are lighting up there. Now we're going to see more than likely when it goes to black like that, there's that star. Check that out. And I had the dang deal in the wrong spot. So I'll move the magnifier down, and I don't know if I have enough time left. And we might get that same thing again, that same action. Now, 
what I got to do is get back over here to watch the comet moving away. Where's the comet? Where's the comet? Where's the comet? Because we're up, we're in zoom.